welcome to Let's Talk Jesus. This is the second show. I am Emanela and this is Jennifer Hi. and we are your host for tonight. Yes. And tonight we're going to talk about love and relationships. It's going to be real interesting. So I hope you're staying around and watching the interview. Yes. Yeah. It's so good to be back. And tonight we will have uh, a guest, just like we had last time, which you soon will will meet because we will soon have the quiz, like we also had last time. And we will have a game with the guest. We'll pray for prayer requests, and we'll end the whole thing with a live performance. Yes. So I'm really looking forward to this night, and thank you so much for watching us again. Yeah. And this is a part of Hope Challenge, as you know. Uh, here at, at Word of Life, we have this thing going on under yes. Corona. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, what have we been doing? Yeah, well, like we said last time, it's a lot about social media events. And so I just want to tell you that stay tuned on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. We're like... It's coming and posts all the time. Yes. With testimonies, worship nights, and also Ooh. a youth meeting is coming up. Yeah. And also another of, uh, episode of Let's Talk Jesus, of yes. course. So, yeah, stay tuned with us. Do it. So, it's uh, time for us to uh, have the quiz. But before we do that, we just want to put this night into God's hands. So, join in with a prayer yes. with us. Thank you, Lord, for letting us do this. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to have this talk show. Mm -hmm. I pray for everybody who is who is listening and watching us. I pray that they mm -hmm. will have joy. I pray that they will be encouraged by our talks. I pray for the guest. I pray for mm -hmm. myself and Emanuela that we will say good things and that you will just lead us in everything that we do. Mm -hmm. I thank you for who you are and what you do, Lord. You're amazing and we love you and we wouldn't be anything without you. Thank you so much, Lord. And we just bless this night mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So let's go to the quiz. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's welcome tonight's guest. It's the smart, the excellent, the simply <laughs> outstanding. <laughs> Ville Manison! Yeah. Oh, that was powerful. Yeah. Very, very good words. <laughs> I hope I you like that. <laughs> good. But girls, are you ready for the battle of your lifetime? Yes. It's going to yes. be brutal. And the rules are very simple. You know this. Uh, if you think you know the answer, you need to ring the bell. And you have one time that you can guess. And then the other one can try. But then if you don't know the answer, then we just move on. Yeah. And the loser will have to sell everything, keep everything for missions, and go to the world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or something else. But we'll see. But the first question we have is, which book in the Bible has most chapters? Okay. Psalms. Psalms, it is. Yeah. Good, Jennifer. Very strong start. We're getting started. <laughs> All right, second question. How many stars does the EU flag have? Okay, I'm gonna guess. 12? 12 it is! Wow! Amazing! Just like the disciples. That was good, yeah. Amazing. Question number three. How many books are in the Bible? Total. <laughs> uh, do you know? No, but I was actually... No, I don't know. Um, is it like... Um, 58? <laughs> no, it's not. It's close to the number of the beast. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't have... 66. 66. I was Very actually thinking good. about really? it. Really? Yeah, okay. And what's the number <laughs> of the beast, then? Should we say <laughs> that? <laughs> so, no. Let's okay, not go let's there. Let's delete <laughs> that. 666. Six, six. All right. Question number four. What do the Jews <laughs> celebrate on Easter? The Passover. The Passover. Awesome. Question number five. What is the first covenant in the Bible? Okay, now... Okay. No. Me? No. No. Ma no. Remember my yeah. teaching. You know, we spoke about three different covenants in the mm, Bible. The first one. I know it now. But, I, Man, um, but it's your The turn. first covenant is... The first level of covenants. That's... Uh, um, uh, word. 
No? Yes, verbal covenant. Yeah, verbal. All right, yeah. good. Okay. Why did I say medium though? <laughs> yeah, it was Question yeah. number six. What's the name of the talking snowman in Disney's Frozen? Olaf. Very yeah. good, Olaf. Even I know that. <laughs> Which planet is nearest the sun? Oh, I always forget this. Um, oh, no. This feels embarrassing to get. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, okay, you guess. <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, is it uh, Mercury? Mercury, yeah. very yeah, good, Jennifer. Yeah. You are on good. fire today. I practice. I should a lot. know this. You've but been I practicing a lot. <laughs> All right. Question number eight. What did Simon Peter do for a living before he became an apostle? Apostle? No. Before. But before. Follow Jesus then. If it's before apostle, but if it's like, was no. he a fisherman? Fisherman is the right answer. This is yeah. a little bit twisted question, okay. but it's okay. We accept <laughs> yeah, that. Twisted answer too. Yes, that was... <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but okay, it's fine. Okay, question number nine. Who wrote most of the books in the New Testament? Paul. Paul, very Paul. good. Paul, Paul. Potato question number <laughs> 10. Who will be running for president against Donald Trump in US next election? Um, <laughs> okay, I'm, so I'm not that uh, involved, but is it this uh, Biden? Biden, Joe yeah. Biden, very um, good. No. Okay. I've just turned on every politics on <laughs> my news. All right, girls, come on. Yeah. Jennifer, you can do yes. this now. Question number 11. In what river was Jesus baptized? <laughs> yeah. I forgot, actually. There is a basketball player player with but the same name. I don't name. know what's... Jordan. Jordan, yes, River yeah. of Jordan. I'm, I'm preparing 12. for the punishment. <laughs> Come on, Jennifer, I'm yeah. on your side now. You still have... What was Jesus' first miracle? <laughs> Men... Okay, but this you should but, know. But uh, it was uh, yes, exactly. turning water to wine. Yes. Water. Very Woo. good. Awesome. I knew that anyway. <laughs> Question number 13. Come on, girls, you can do this. <laughs> is Greenland or Australia bigger in landmass? Landmass? Mm. Yeah. Okay, I think it's Greenland. It's Australia. Okay. Sorry. Oh, but, no point. Oh, but, I should, yeah, but it's I only guess. two options, so it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Number 14. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> What language was most of the New Testament originally written in? What, in which testament? With the New Testament. Oh. But Greek. Greek. I didn't hear if it was new or old. Yeah. Question number 15. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, last question. Yeah. What is the first book of the New Testament? The Gospel of Matthew. Amen. Yes. Very good. Hallelujah. Unfortunately, Jennifer, <laughs> yes. you have been chosen <laughs> as a loser of the yeah. game. And there is a very poisonous smoothie waiting for you. You can yeah. do this. Ugh. Let's try out. I actually want to try it. I'm actually a bit sad. You want to try it? <laughs> yeah. So you can do it. It's, I, okay. Uh. Pray for me. Le <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? I would, How does yeah. it taste? Um, I would not call this a smoothie. I don't know. It tastes everything like. Oh, can I, I smell that? Ketchup, maybe. And like ginger, maybe. Ew. I don't know. It smells a lot like onion. Okay, I don't know what I don't what's know. in this. Do you want to taste it? No, I don't want to. Do you want to taste it? No, really, no. <laughs> yeah. Next time, I really need to win these challenges. Like, uh, I'm done with punishments now. My stomach we'll is like, su super weird. Yeah. <laughs> it smelled weird. The yeah. thing, I, I mean, I could smell like the onion or something yeah. that you had. I was yeah. like, okay, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's time for us to get to know you a little bit more better. Yes. So first of all, we just want you to tell, tell us about yourself. Well, 
as you know, my name is Ville. I'm originally from Finland, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my wife, we got married pretty young, and we came to Bible school 2003 here in Sweden. Okay. So a couple of years in Bible school, then we went for missions. For eight years, we were in Afghanistan and India first, and then we moved back here. We have one beautiful son. Yeah. Uh, today, I, I work as a pastor here in the church and also as a mission coordinator. Okay. Uh, so I'm very much living for missions yeah. um, here at the church. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. But then I just have to sneak in with a question. What is the weirdest thing that you have experienced on the mission yeah. field? <laughs> weirdest, funniest. Well, there are a lot of weird things, of course. Um, but I, I remember when the first meeting I had really in Afghanistan. I was trying to make a contract for a new office building. So I'm, I was meeting this um, owner of the, of the building and, you know, the plan was to discuss about the price. So he came in, he, he took up his gun, he put the gun on the table and he was like, okay, so what's the price? What do you think? So I was like, okay, what um, uh, whatever you say, <laughs> sir. <laughs> so that was really oh. embarrassing, weird moment for me. Yeah. Embarrassing. Well, no, in, in, in a way, because I was kind of like ready to, okay, I'm going to uh -huh, come okay, and now I'm yeah, going like to negotiate yeah, and you know yeah. make the get the price down but i tell i tell you the price did not go down no. in that meeting no, no. no. whoa <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's scary though with a gun like yeah okay <laughs> that's funny though okay so next question what do you do on a free day well i like cooking actually mm. i like to do a lot of especially asian food so i do a okay. lot of different kind of asian stuff Ooh. i do like music as well so um i play different instruments so a lot of i slap my bass a lot oh. when i'm alone so okay. uh, yeah playing instruments listening music this is good food. we get to know so much new things about our pastors when yeah. we invite them yeah. <laughs> that's nice yeah that's make cool. some good curry for you for sure yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah but can you tell us a fun fact about you Fun fact, well, I don't know what's funny, but um, um, <laughs> I've been one year in a theater, in a real professional produ production, as an actor, dancer, and a singer. Really? Full time. What? And, um, uh, so we did a lot, of, I think 135 acts or shows. Yeah. And it was so funny, you know, uh, I had this full makeup as well. And on Saturdays, we had like two or three shows. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, between, I mean, I didn't want to wash myself and take the makeup off. So, I mean, we went to eat, we went to a shopping mall with full makeup. And uh, I got some really weird looks from people. Really? But it had to do with the acting, yeah. Wow. wow but yeah. I want to so see you act. In the, uh, <coughs> no. On the Christmas show or something. Yeah, so one full year in a theater. It was really fun. I actually liked it a yeah. lot. Yeah, wow. Okay, so what's your favorite song? I was thinking about this, and I, you know, I, I actually like all kinds of music, from mm. very like soft worship to heavy metal <laughs> and everything oh. yeah. between. Oh, um, <laughs> I like hard music for sure, but okay. I would say um, rock the bass, rock the bass, <laughs> slap the bass. Um, but I really like Chris Tomlin's uh, "Good mm. Good Father" yeah. song, and that I could listen on a repeat for sure yeah. I really yeah. like Wonderful that song. Yeah. it's, it's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. yeah so uh, we have now five quick questions for you that okay. you have two alternatives to answer Kay. and choose quick yeah preach or worship preach uh, Sweden or Finland Finland okay mission field or hop Uppsala mission field Old Testament or New Testament New Testament Sunday meeting or a day at the Bible school a day at the Bible school. Hey! <laughs> That's sure. nice. We love to have you as a teacher. Yeah. Thanks. So okay. Yeah. Uh, now we know you a little bit more, and I hope the more. audience does as well. But now it's time for us to play a game with you. So are you ready? Okay, sure. Okay. So the rules for the game is that we will show you four different objects, and you have to build a one minute or approximately oh yeah. one minute sermon around these random objects and you can pass once and you will have three you have to do three and you can pass once okay are you ready yeah this can go so wrong no it's but good it's i'm gonna take i have the time here uh, and phone. i will show you the objects okay. and they will be fast okay yeah one minute okay one two and begin banana in Galatians 5, verse 16, the <laughs> Bible says that walk in the spirit and you will 
not uh, gratify the desires of your flesh. This banana represents the spirit and the fruit of yeah, the fruit of the Spirit, and you need mm -hmm. to have the fruit in your life. Mm -hmm. It's so important that you allow God to come in close into your life. The more you draw near to Him, He draws near to you. Mm. More fruit starts to appear in your life and come out. And it's so important that because you are what you eat, mm -hmm. what you feed, you, you know, grows. Wow, so you need it. to feed yourself with the, with the fruit of the Spirit. <laughs> Amen. And this banana definitely represents that fruit that you need to have while you are walking in the spirit amen wow. Woo! yeah 14 seconds left so you passed 100%. yeah that was awesome yeah <laughs> ready for the next one <laughs> okay next one one two <laughs> and go a glass and this glass <laughs> represents exactly that. We, you know, what, what it says in Galatians 5 verse 16, that we walk in the spirit or we gratify the desires of our flesh. Mm -hmm. So it, it's all about what we fill our lives with. And this empty glass represents that when we are born again, when we find Christ in our life, we are like an empty glass and we start mm -hmm. to fill our lives with different things. We fill our lives like the banana, the fruit of the spirit, the, the life of the spirit, Amen. or we fill ourselves with something else. Mm -hmm. So every Everyone is holding an empty class when they are born again, mm. ready to fill it in with God's love, God's mercy, God's Amen. favor, and whatever. Yes. Wow. Amen. Like 16 say. seconds left. So you're good okay. at this. Okay. You don't have ready? to be nervous. Ready for the last one. Yeah. yeah. And one, two, three, go. A donut. Okay, let's continue <laughs> with the same topic. This represents exactly Galatians 6, verse 16, uh, 15, the desires of the flesh. Mm. So we have the fruit of the spirit that we can fill our lives with and we have the flesh. Mm. It looks delicious. It looks good. It's well <laughs> yes. done. It's beautiful. I mm. mean, you can just look at it. You Chocolate. enjoy. You love it. You want to have it. And that is exactly how sin is. The desires of our flesh. They are, they are very nice looking. <laughs> mm. They smell good. They feel good. They taste yeah. good. But do you want to fill your life, your cup with this? No, you don't. You want to walk in the spirit. You want to fill your life with good things. And like I said earlier that you know you are what you eat and what you eat what you fill your life with grows in your life mm. i do not want to to uh, you know this have this donut growing up in my life with bad stuff i want that banana instead of this hey wow. man wow that was and exactly it was exactly one minute. <laughs> yes and that can I just good. say, this is like the best donut ever. It's actually chocolate in it. Okay, Do so you want really it? Good. Cool. But, you or know, you it's sinful, <laughs> so no. don't take it. Take the what? banana. Take the banana. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yes. It's only 2,000 calories, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think you were Your super good portion. at this. Yeah. Thank you. you must, yeah. Applause. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. now we have, like, been playing around, talking funny and, yeah, interesting questions. But now it's actually time for us to dig into a deeper dialogue yes and uh, our theme today is like relations relationship yeah family love yeah love, love you know Ooh. and we know that you're an expert <laughs> in these kinds yeah. of things <laughs> so the first question just to start off how did you and your wife meet well, you know, me and my wife, we lived in different cities. So we actually had a common friend who had a party. So we actually met at the party. Okay. And then she started to come to our church. And that's how we, our relationship started to grow. And we got to know one another. Okay. That's very simple. Nice. How did you know you were going to spend your life with her? Well, well I didn't. Uh, and it's, it's <laughs> a bigger question in that way. I mean, I was 16 when I met Johanna, my future wife. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I think, I mean, we became very good friends. Many things clicked quite, quite early on, quite yeah. fast. You know, the, communi the communication, the humor. And uh, it slowly, slowly we grew into that point that, you know, uh, you are a big best friend with yeah. someone. But you yeah. suddenly realize that I kind of like you more than just a friend. Mm -hmm. And this could be something more. Yeah. And, and uh, I felt like, you know, I don't, I don't want to live my life. I, I don't want to yeah. see myself without her yeah. in our future. Mm. And I think that was more of this kind of like a conviction mm. that I want to make the move. I want to, <laughs> you know, kind of get together with her. Yeah. So I, I think, it, you know, the, you... I don't know if I was 100% sure in the beginning. I don't yeah. know if anyone really is. No. Can be. But um, I think it's more of this, you know, uh, this confidence or that feeling that I want to spend my life with you mm. and not with someone else. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Very beautiful answer. Yeah. 
Was it some like special characteristics that she had that was like, okay, you know, this is really good? Well, I think it's the communication. I mean, yeah, I could okay. be the weird self with yeah. her and she <laughs> yeah. actually liked the yeah. weirdness <laughs> yeah. and that's the other way good. around. Yeah. And I think that's that, you know, that's in a relationship, good. you need to be able to be who you yeah. are, be relaxed and yeah. the humor clicked very quickly. Yeah. Well. We also come pretty si similar from the similar backgrounds. We are both like pastor's kids growing mm. up in a church. So that kind of clicked as well. So we yeah. knew, uh, you know, what we are talking about. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So you said that you met in a party, and uh, was how do you think? Should we be actively seeking a partner, or should we more like rest and trust in God that someone will just knock on our doors? Or yeah. how do you balance like seeking mm. and resting and trusting in God? Yeah. Well, I mean, I make a move, dude. Yeah. I'm definitely make for activity. Mm. Uh, but on the other hand, you know, it says in in Second uh, Timothy two actually that. Uh, that we should pursue righteousness, joy, mm. uh, love, and peace. Mm. So it's so important that even if we are active, we are not active out of this stressful yeah. or you yeah. know restlessness, mm. you know, perspective. But we 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 have that peace. We understand that we are new creation in in Christ. That God will supply all yeah. my needs, Amen. every desire, everything I have, mm. I can have fullness and full life with God. Mm. So I think Very it's so good. important that we have that balance in our life, that I have that peace. Mm. And then out of that peace, I can be active and, yeah. and trying to find and get to know people. Mm. Um, I think it's so important that we 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 are trying to seek for people for right reasons mm. that that people are not there to fulfill my needs or f fulfill my emptiness yeah. or my insecurity but that if we have that foundation with God in the right place that peace it's mm. so much easier to find the right right partner mm. and um wow. I think also it's so important that we we are active. Um, you know, in you know in the in the world, people are very actively f trying to find one another and find mm. partners. Here yeah. in our church, we have created, which I think is wrong. We have created this atmosphere that if you ask someone for coffee, that means that yeah. you know you You're are getting marry. married, have yeah. three <laughs> kids, and red colored <laughs> yeah. Volvo. I mean, A it's house. like yeah. it's like who made up this rules yeah I, I think we need to relax in a way mm. um i'm not saying that you should be you know a player and date 20 girls at the same time no. that's not what i'm no. saying but i but you know we need to take seriously what we do mm. but on the other hand come on relax a little bit yeah uh yeah. you know go for coffee get to yeah. know the person and yeah and also especially uh go out in a big bigger groups because if you are face to face with someone you get the better face mm. but then when you are together with other people as well yeah. doing activities you see how the person is reacting to yeah. other people and then you can get to know the person in a much bigger mm. way so mm. i th definitely think we should be very active in, in the right way yeah wow yeah yeah sounds definitely good i think people need to hear that actually so yeah really good answer and not to be like yeah i'm sorry yeah exactly <laughs> but also just want to say that if you see some church m m friends out somewhere yeah don't gossip around yes. take a picture and yeah. send to yeah. all over like hey they are having coffee yeah. they are getting married now <laughs> i mean come on let's create yeah. this atmosphere yeah. when it's normal yeah. to get to know people and yeah. it doesn't really mean anything mm. so to say that you know we can be please normal people yeah exactly yeah. That was the thing that I was supposed to say too, you know, not to be like, oh, look at them, uh, you know, mm -hmm. because then it's even more scary to actually do anything. And then you're like, you know, really old, sitting at home, like 70 years old, I don't know. And then you've never had a partner or whatever, because you've been too scared to do anything. And you've been thinking about like what other people say and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So also, I just want to encourage that also girls can make a move yeah. that, you know, it don't wait the the you know the n the guy always to come to you i think yeah. women are smart enough mm. that they can you know help the guys to make the move mm. and and it's important for the guy to think that they made the move but actually you helped him but yeah. anyhow that you know there is <laughs> you are so clever you can you know how to do it yeah like for example like my wife you know when we uh she started to come to our church and we, we got to you know we were you know, we could you could feel that we are interested yeah. with one another. Yeah. So she came to me after after the service one day, and she just said, "So when are you gonna call me?" Yeah. And I'm like, "What, what do you mean?" <laughs> I mean, yeah. So when are you gonna call me? I, I don't know. And well, here's my phone number. She wrote down her phone number and gave it to me. So yeah. call me. And so I'm like, okay. So then the next day I actually called her and so forth. So I mean, she oh, was okay. she yeah. was kind of like. 
yeah, helping, helping, yeah. You. helping yeah. you to make the move. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because guys are shy too, you know. So, you know, oh. that's good. Okay, so the next question is when uh, when you are dating or are in a relationship, what do you think uh, the boundary should be like with intimacy? Because it's easy to you know go maybe a bit further and stuff. Like, what do you? What yeah. did you use? And it's also hard in this society because society tells you one thing. Yeah, exactly. And the Bible says another. So yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, we need to understand that sex is a very strong force. Yeah. And and uh, if you play with the fire, you will burn your fingers yeah. most probably. Also, the sex before marriage can create this very frustrating atmosphere. And I'm happy to say that me and my wife, we did not have intercourse before we got married, mm -hmm. but we did play around. And yeah. I would say, um, you know, it was, you know, this, you know, this force gets going and mm. then you need to squeeze it down. The force comes up yeah. and you feel ashamed. Yeah. And it's like, you know, this frustration that mm -hmm. comes. And we've been married now 21 years. And if I could go back uh, to meet me when I was 16, mm. um, I mean, I would say, come on, dude, slow down, yeah. hold your horses. Yeah. Yeah. What's the point? Yeah. Why do you need to experience all these things? Because mm. only thing that it brings is this frustration because yeah. you know that you are not supposed to do it mm. or not to go that far. Mm -hmm. And it's just frustration. And then secondly, the shame that comes because you know that this is not really the right thing. And honestly, now in 21 years of marriage, what have I learned before marriage that I could have not learned now in marriage. Yeah. I mean, there is absolutely nothing. Yeah. I have had 21 years of time to have to be on this journey of sex together with my mm. wife. So I think it's like, um, I think it's a waste of many things if you play around with, um, with, with your partner before marriage. But yeah. if we think, okay, where to draw the line, so yeah. to say, I mean, if we think from intercourse to oral sex to uh, touching one another in intimate areas, to kissing, to yeah. hugging and mm. holding hands. Yeah. I mean, where yeah. to put the line? Yeah. I think for me personally, uh, holding hands is okay, hugging is okay, kissing is okay. Mm. That's where I would draw the line. Mm. But then also in that, we need to remember this force, so to say. There is kissing and kissing. Yeah. I mean, if you watch a romantic movie and kiss or walk in the park and kiss, mm. or if you are uh, on top of one another in a dark, yeah. dark room, late mm. at night kissing, it turns on this force that I'm talking about. And mm. when you feel that force kicking in, then you know, whoops, I'm yeah. too far. So uh, to, to learn to balance with that. And I think it's so important that we, we don't just only watch ourselves mm. or control ourselves, but we also watch our partners. Mm. That, um, because I would never have stopped where I stopped without my wife saying, or my yeah. girlfriend saying, stop. Yeah. So it's so important that we find that respect with one another. Mm. Hey, this is, back off. Yeah. And that we respect one another and can also then to, to turn off, so to say. Mm. Yeah. But can I say one thing? Yeah. For, yeah, I, mean, I know that there are a lot of people or young, young people or couples that are watching this that know that they have crossed the line, so mm. to say. And, you know, there are many people that I know, even in our cir church circles, uh, many people having oral sex or even um, uh, intercourse mm. or touching one another in an inappropriate way. I think it's very important to tell them that stop, listen to what I'm saying, ask forgiveness from one another. Yeah. Yeah. I ask forgiveness that I touch your body. Together, ask forgiveness from God. Mm. God, sorry, we went over the line. Mm. And then you, then you draw the line, making a commitment that, you know, we keep this from now on. Yeah. Yeah. And, and not think like, ah, but we have done it once already, so what's the point? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can yeah. take the step back, yeah. ask forgiveness, and then move on in the relationship in another way. Yeah. Very good. For sure. And let the past be in the past, if, if that's so. Like, mm -hmm. we can always move on and take a new step. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's good too because, you know, God is always, you know, giving second chances and forgiving. So it's just, I guess, for ourselves to forgive ourselves too. That's a big problem, I think. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And also we come from different backgrounds and, you know, some people have been uh, in the church their whole life. Mm. Some people come from the world that have had a different kind of lifestyles mm. and then meet another person here in the church and so forth. So yeah. we come from a different background. So that's yeah. why it's so important 
important that you talk about it mm. and you draw the line together and then you can watch one another in yeah. that hey dude you are crossing the line now that we agreed yeah. step yeah. back yeah. and you need to respect that yeah. yeah make sure you're on the same side exactly yeah. so uh, and when it comes to that what is the signs of an unhealthy relationship would you say like, like if you're not in the on the same page mm. or what would you say is like a relationship that it's more tearing you down than building you up yeah is it like jealousy controlling something i think it's good what you just said now that you know it's a uh, you need to be yourself in the relationship yeah. and if you feel like you are in a place in a relationship where you cannot really express who you are you mm. cannot be free you need to please the other one yeah. for some for some way, some funny way mm. you feel like you are boxed you are controlled you mm. are manipulated or abused mm. then that's a clear sign that, that that you should maybe step out from that yeah. kind of relationship talk to someone mm. find help mm. um, in that situation mm. oh this was really good. I think like we have covered a lot of things that youths of today really need to hear. Mm. What do you say? Is there something more you want to add, like a last tip or something? Or yeah, yeah. Like I said before, I think it's so <laughs> important that we are active, that mm. we we do fun stuff together. Yeah. Uh, you know that we we can go. I don't know bowling or laser games and mm. escape room <laughs> yeah. picnic. I mean. Do stuff together, yeah. and when you are active, you find some new nuances and new mm. sides of the personality. Yeah. And and uh, let's create this atmosphere where we can have fun together. We can go out together, mm. and and then you know learn to know one another, yeah. and then God can lead us together, and, yeah. and um, you know the right, finding right partners. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Good. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. So now. We have had the talk, We've, we're like reaching for the end of the program. So we are going to pray for some prayer requests that we have gotten on our Instagram and we would love for you to join us into that. So if we can just check on yes, prayer, prayer requests. requests. Are you, and uh, I also want to mention that if you have prayer requests for our next show, it's uh, possible for you to send them in to us at Livets Ord Bibelcenter on Instagram. And we post like daily, weekly, so you can like comment there what you have for kind of prayer requests and yes. we're happy to pray with you like we said last time just just go so uh, yeah <laughs> we have a, a hurting wrist health a work a need of work a need of friends a source of income guidance a, a landlord who has corona oh. a, uh, studies, application, and uh, also depression and drug abuse at, uh, with a friend. So I think we okay. just put all of these things in God's hands right now. Yeah. yeah. And if you're at home watching, please join us because this is we are standing up for our siblings all over the world. <laughs> Amen. So yeah. Oh Lord, I just Hallelujah. thank you. I just thank you that you come with solutions to all of these people, Lord. I thank you that we can stand together and pray for all of these things. And I just release your healing over everybody who's sick, over this wrist yes. and over this corona situation and over any kinds of health problems. I just release health in Jesus' name. I thank you that you are a provider that provides health. I thank you that you provide economy, uh, solutions lord and i just pray that you come to these people who are struggling in economic ways and also with this stu uh, studies application lord just come and let just a peace fall on this person that is uh, struggling lord i mm. thank you that you are a peacemaker yes, lord and i just pray that you will come with this lord thank you Jesus. i thank you that that we can break every bondage and we break depression mm -hmm. and we break drug abuse in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus and we break every sickness in the name of Jesus and just come Lord and let them just be so filled up with your peace and joy even in the midst of all the struggles Lord mm -hmm. I thank you I thank you and I just praise you for who you are and what you do Lord so just come to these people and let them see you let them know you mm -hmm. all glory be to you Lord mm. hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a good father, Lord. Mm. You love us so much. And Lord, I pray Mm. that right now that goodness could come over Mm. us, Lord. Mm. That Mm -hmm. goodness and that loving and loving understanding Mm. and grace over everyone that is watching right now. You see the struggles we might Mm. have, Lord, especially in the area of sexuality, Lord, and things Mm. that we've been talking today, Lord. Mm -hmm. I just ask your your love to come, Lord, your healing touch to come. Even, Lord, if Mm. we have done things that we should have not done, we Thank you, Lord, that in you we are a new creation, Mm. Lord, that we can come and be washed by your blood. We can be cleansed from all the things from our past. So, Lord, we just give our lives to Mm. you right now. Lord, Mm. we thank you for that healing power over our lives right now, Lord. And if there are couples that are struggling with this, Lord, we ask that you would help them. Holy Spirit, come and help them Mm. to draw the right line in the right place. And Lord, uh, bring them together in other ways as well in Jesus' name. Mm. And Lord, we just pray if there, there are people that are struggling with sexuality, with homosexuality or, or whatever ways, Lord, we just ask your loving mercy to come over mm. them right now. Speak into their lives, Lord, how much you love Hallelujah. them, Lord. You love mm. your loving Father. Thank and you, I Jesus. thank you, Holy Spirit, that we can lay our lives, every life, Lord, to you right now. In Jesus' name, mm. Jesus amen. 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 Wow. Amen. Yeah. Okay. So So then this was the end of tonight. And thank you so much, Ville, the excellent, brilliant, everything. (laughs) Yeah, so powerful. Um, For coming. Your tips were really good. I think it helped a lot of people. Yeah, Yeah. we really enjoyed having you. And like you said, I think people will really be encouraged by this. Yeah, appreciate it a lot. Awesome. And we also want to thank you who has been watching us. Yeah. Of course. And I hope this was better than <laughs> last time. No, I'm just kidding. No, but it was. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> thank that you, you for enjoyed giving it. us a second chance. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that was my words. <laughs> so now we have a performance yes. also. So we will listen to Isaac, and he will perform the song Highs and Lows. So we will watch that now, and we just want to say one last thank you to Ville and to all of you who has been watching, and tune in next time again. Thank you so much and God bless you. When it feels like the dark lingers longer than the night Should I fall?
You are faithful through it all. 